name is Sila Beck in the U Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And, and you know, the question I have on my head right now is when are the people who consider themselves to be progressive liberal, when are they going to look in the mirror and go, wait a minute? Aren't we the bad guys? <laughs> are we really the are we the baddies? Because uh, uh, yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Now you're rewriting literature because it offends you. Like the, the, these are these are the fundamental ideas that underpin society. This is not a good idea, and your inability to coexist with ideas that you you don't like. And the reason you don't like them isn't because you don't like the ideas. You don't like the ideas because it makes you feel like you're stupid. They make, they make you feel like you're stupid because these ideas are truthful and you're a moron, right? And you don't like to feel like you're stupid. But basically, we're at we're at Fahrenheit 451 territory now, right? We really are. We're rewriting the past, uh, uh, you know, in, in a, a terrible way. How is one supposed to learn from the past if you erase the past? Well, that's the point. You're not supposed to learn from it. They're going right back to the past. I, I, you know, these anti racists they want to, they want there to be segregation. You know, they want there to be racism. Uh, and the weird thing is, uh, uh, the racial sensitivity that these uh, that these books are being rewritten for isn't universal, right? They. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> it's not you know i mean they they still have the the uh, uh misogyny in it we, we talk about this in the article it's just bizarre it's insane it's stupid it's evil it's wrong uh uh soon to be erased quickly in our days right soon to be erased quickly in our days uh um he tries something similar with Roald Dahl, who I'm not a fan of. Because, I mean, he's a great writer, but he didn't like the Jews so much. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm not so opposed to him toning down the, the anti-Semitic elements of, of his books. But uh, even so, don't touch him, right? I think our culture needs it, right? This is why we have books. So we... You know, we can learn, right? We can learn from the past and move to the future. This is, I mean, this is the function of having books. Don't rewrite them because you're scared of them, which is essentially what's going on. Anyway, anyway, not good news, ladies and gentlemen. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Not good news. What is good news is you can like, share, and subscribe. That would be fan freaking fantastic. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, uh, I am very grateful for you liking, sharing, and subscribing. Look in the video notes. You'll find my uh, Instagram, my Twitter, my Substack. Uh, uh, who else is there? So that's my email newsletter. Uh, Facebook, all those things. Sign up to everything. Sign up to everything because you are not going to want to miss. You're not going to want to miss a moment of the uh, pearls of wisdom that, that come out my mouth every day. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Fine. So this is from my live stream I did last night. I'm a little bit under the weather, right? I'm a little bit under the weather today as well. It's March 1st. It's 20... 8th of February then, uh, uh, I guess last night, whatever last night was, it was last night. Uh, uh, so I'm like, I, I ended the stream early because I was like uh, uh, low energy. I'm also low energy right now. Uh, after I finish the video, I might go and have a nap. That actually might be a plan. I might go and have a nap. No, my dog's looking at me. i got to go walk the dog. Okay, that's what I'm going to do instead. But while I'm doing that, let me hand over to me from last night. James Bond's book, edited to remove racist references. Reissued version of Ian Fleming's uh, classic works will feature a disclaimer following... Uh, uh, review by sensitivity readers. Get rid of all sensitivity readers now, right? Get rid of the, the most useless class of people. Sensitivity fucking readers. Okay, I, I, here I'm. I am insensitive to sensitivity readers. James Bond novel have been rewritten through a number of re uh, racial references in Fleming's work. The Telegraph revealed. Uh, um, do they have any examples though? Uh, all the author's uh, thrillers uh, featuring 007 were set to be reissued in April, the month the 70 year, year since Casino Royale, the first book in the series was published. In Fleming's Publication Limited, the company that owns the literary rights to the author's work commissioned a review by the idiot smucks. Again, you're behind the times. Terrible of understand the disclaimer accompanying the reissue text will read, this book has been uh, written in a time when terms and attitudes which might be considered offensive by the modern reader were commonplace. Uh, you want like anything, right? Absolutely anything. A number of updated uh, updates have been made to this edition while keeping as close to the possible as the original text. How about just keep the original fucking text, you fucking morons? How about that for a plan? The James Ian Fleming books result in some depiction of black people being reworked or removed. I know, it's so disgusting. Uh, <laughs> I do like the things they ruined, it, uh, what they pointed out. Dated references to other ethnicities remain, such as Bond's racial terms for Asian people and a spice disparaging view of an odd job, Goldfinger's Korean henchman. 
Oh, yeah, it's only if you're black. It's, uh, that's the only problem. References to the sweet tang of rape. Really? I ne- really, I never thought that. Blithering women failing to do a man's work. Man, I, that should be the name of a James Bond movie. <laughs> and homosexuality being a stubborn disability also remain. Really? Fuck me. What's that? What's that all over your face? Uh, oh, that's egg, isn't it? In a sensitive, uh, sensitively reader approved version of, of Live and Let Die, Bond's assessment uh, would, of the would be African criminals in the gold mines and diamond trades are pretty law abiding traps than I would have thought, except for when they're drunk. Uh, when they're drunk too much, it becomes uh, pretty law abiding chaps, I should have thought. Okay, what well, like, like, well, black people don't get drunk and commit crimes, that doesn't happen. Another altered scene features Bond in Harlem in New York, where his latest striptease and nightclub makes a male crowd, including 007, increasingly agitated. <coughs> the original passage just read, Bond could hear the audience panting and grunting like pigs at a trot uh, as he felt his hands gripping the tablecloth, his mouth go dry. What are they doing on, sca- on stage? The revision, uh, revised section replaces the pig references with Bond could see the sense of Alexis, ele- electric tension in the room. Ugh. Fucking morons. I mean, really? Fucking morons. I think that's a fair uh, 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 expression. Yeah, fucking morons. A thirdly not, uh, lengthy battle describing Bond's night out in Harlem, including an argument between a man and his girlfriend conducted a Largely in accent of dialogue, uh, Fleming describes as a straight Harlem deep south with uh, a lot of New York thrown in, has been entirely removed. The word, um, the N word, uh, which Fleming used to refer to black people when he was writing during the time of the 50s and 60s, was completely expunged from the revised text. I, I, I think that's a mistake. <coughs> I mean, I, honestly, I don't use it, but I, I think you've got to keep to the original. I mean, I understand it's something like, yeah, you know, the title of the book. You know, Ten Little Engines, I understand. You I, you don't want that on a book cover, right? I'm not going to say it, right? You do not want that on a book. I, I do hear that, right? But, like, in most cases, replaced by a black person or black man, but racial de- uh, descriptions are entirely dropped in some instances. In one example, some criminals ex- escaping from uh, Bond in uh, Doctor No become simply... Gangsters. In the same novel, the, the race of the doctor and his immigration officer now go unmentioned, as does uh, that of a henchman uh, shot by Bond. The ethnicity of a barman in Thunderball is uh, similarly omitted. Why? What's wrong? Equinox <coughs> follows a butler's race and now goes on. Why? Uh, I mean, like these idiot little children. With crayons rewriting greats. Detail is also removed from Goldfinger, where the race of the drivers of the Second World War II logistics team, the Red Bull Express, in which black serviceman is not mentioned. Instead, it refers only to ex drivers. Uh, man, you're missing so much like text from it, context from it. It's crazy. Bond literally has been tweaked before to suit different markets. Um, uh, uh, Fleming gave the editor our heart's blessings removed uh, the sex scenes for American readers. Well, okay, if it, Fleming did it, but still. Uh, they also also penned the U.S. publishers uh, uh, to tone down the racial references and live and let die. Uh, uh, in Fleming Publications said, what we at In Fleming Publications are utter cock nozzles. Uh, reviewed text of the original Bond books and decided the best course of action was to follow Ian's lead uh, and made changes to live and let die that he himself... No, he didn't authorise that, you dumb fuck. Following his approach, we looked at the instance of several other racial terms across the books uh, and removed the number... Don't don't hide behind Ian fucking Fleming, you woke pieces of crap. Yeah, I mean, really? How old are you, 12? Hey, it's a shit. Really? I mean, it really is. We encourage borrowers to re- read the books themselves when the new paperbacks are borrowers. Fuck off. Pulp them. Uh, in the past, uh, Fleming's US publishers changed the title of Casino Royale for you, Arthur, it, and 007 
was referred to uh, in the blom, uh, blurb as Jimmy Bomb. In 1954, Live and Let Die was banned in the Republic of Ireland. Well, there you go. The look, Republic of Ireland always strikes me as being a very, uh, 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 you know, the, the, the place you want to go to to work out what should be banned and what shouldn't. Uh, it came after the passages from Roald Dahl's book were purged. Uh, on the advance of the cultural sensitivity experts, uh, uh, cultural sensitivity experts by Puffin. Fire them all, you dumb cunts. Probably is you've got idiot children, you paid a fortune for their sal uh, for the going to go to school, and now you've got to get jobs for them. Morons. Uh, on Friday, the book publisher announced it will reissue the books in their uncensored form following the backlash. Well, well done. Uh, Dole threatened to never write another word and probably ever changed his language. It, it emerged on, on Saturday. His comments made uh, 40 years ago, uh, he promised to send his uh, enormous crocodile, referencing the character in the opponent's novel, to gobble up them up uh, if they did so. The Guardian reported Well, the Guardian reported it. Uh, uh, who can deny it? Who can deny it? My name is Sheila Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!